Hello, my loves, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen, and I am a Taurus Sun and Venus. Uh, before we get started, I just want to remind everyone that I am available for personal readings and Reiki sessions, and I wanted to remind you of the new Reiki that I have to offer uh, directly from Spirit. If you're not sure what Reiki is, it's energy healing, so you can be anywhere in the world. I have done Reiki for people um, literally across the globe. So um, the new one is Unlock Your Wealth Reiki, okay, to help you unlock your way to your wealth, <laughs> okay, the way to your wealth. So if you would like to get a personal reading or Reiki session from me, the link is in the description box below. Now, let's jump right in here. Divine Source Creator, what is the... Whoa. We're not going to take all those. Whoa. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy? Please show us clearly what is the overall energy. Divine Source Creator, show us click. Wow, okay. So we have here the Mermaid Death. Oh, I love that. Um, embrace change, okay? Embracing change. Your whole future depends on it right now. The death card is amazing because it is a rebirth, right? Death to the old. We're going into the new. Um, it is, for me, okay, it is the 13 card. And 13 really is a lucky number. Because the death card cannot, it doesn't always have to be like something that you want to stay it's probably something you want to leave your life it could be a closure of a certain situation a job a relationship a lawsuit i mean you can name it anything right you want it to be done so you can move forward so i think that this is happening in your favor because again the number 13 taurus is a lucky number which also reduces down to a four which talks about stability wanting stability in our life and I'm loving this energy for you because you are embracing changes. I said this in another one of the readings, and they're timeless. And someone commented on it too, which I, I love, is that they're always saying that Taurus doesn't like change. And I, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. Yes, I love my comforts of my home, but... The times that I've moved in my life, I was very excited about the new home, right? The new place. So I feel like the divine is saying, get excited. Get excited for this. All right? Get excited for this death. Let it go. Let's start fresh in some area of our life because it is a general reading for some of you. Maybe all areas of your life. Maybe you're changing up everything. But I love it and I'm here for it. So let's get a message from our angels, guides, and ancestors. Angels, guides, ancestors for Taurus. Show me clearly. What is the message? What does Taurus need to hear at this moment, please? What does Taurus need to hear at the moment? Show us clearly, please. What does Taurus need to hear at this moment? What does Taurus need to hear at this moment? Show us clearly, please. Show us clearly what is the message. Angels, guides, ancestors. Show us clearly for Taurus, please. Yeah, some of you, this is a long-awaited death, right? <laughs> like, yes, I wanted this to end. Uh, okay. So our first card out is the Six of Wands. Yes, the victory. Here's the victory card. Something is done, over with. You survived it. You thrived on it. It could even be something good, like a goal that you have hit, and now you get to start a new goal. Um, but yeah, you're sitting in the spotlight here, right? You're sitting in the spotlight here. You have uh, become victorious in this situation, and now you get to start anew. So I love it. Embracing that change. Embracing that change is awesome. Show me clearly, please. Show me clearly. What is the message? Thank you. Yeah, Queen of Swords. <laughs> a lot of you know if you've been a long time watcher. Uh, this is my no BS card. <clears throat> right? We got no time for this. Like, we're done. 
I love this because this is like truly in my mind doesn't matter if you're male or female but this is the clarity like this is done with I see it clearly for what it is you can't fool me you can't you know you can't fool me like you just can't you can't fool me I can see it this is done and over with um for some of you this could be with yourself too so it could be like you know quote unquote bad habit whatever that is for you shopping drinking whatever but yeah you are just you're seeing more clearly and thinking more clearly than you ever had with this so let's go ahead and see what else we have show me clearly please what is the message some of you it is youtube um some of you it is a relationship that you now know is dead done and over with a lot of that is happening if you're in a very healthy committed relationship that message is not for you okay but a lot of you know that there is a relationship romantic that is done however some of you it is or more of you i would say well some of you it's a, like a work relationship a job you're just done with it but some of you this is um let me rephrase that again. They stopped me. Most of you, this is the new connection with your higher self. And the reason I say that is because the Two of Cups it does talk about that intuition. And they kept having me look to the bottom of this deck, but I, I, they're like, don't take it, don't take it. And I was like, why are you having me look at it, right? Because they were waiting to bring out the Two of Cups. Because at the bottom of the deck is the High Priestess, is the card of intuition. Mind and heart in harmony with intuition trusting your heart and all will be good so you're trusting to end this right you're trusting to end this relationship this job this habit whatever because you know all will be good on the other side of it so beautiful all right what else do we have show us clearly please thank you yeah, Two of Swords came out in reverse. Doesn't really matter. Your message is going to be the same for me through spirit, which is you're finally now making the decision and you're using your intuition to make that decision, which I love, right? Um, <clears throat> I love that this came out with the High Priestess here because the High Priestess does rely on her intuition and her decision-making abilities to go with her gut feeling or her higher knowing. So it's like now you're ready to make the decision to end this, right? To end this, whatever that is for you. Beautiful. Show me clearly. What is the message, please? Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? Yep. Some of you, it's a legal situation that's coming to an end, okay? In your favor, I will tell you. Um, whatever that is, that could be a marriage, right? It could be, but it could be any kind of lawsuit that is coming to an end and it does, it is in your favor because how much did they push me on the 13 that I was telling you? It's a lucky number. It's a lucky number, right? So some of you, because you've already ended, I don't know, this is not everybody, but some of you, because they've already ended, you've already ended something, <laughs> Something new is coming in, contractual, right? So a new marriage. But remember, that can be career and jobs. A lot of people are signing contracts. When you get a new job, you fill out all that paperwork. That is a contract, right? Uh, buying a home, you sign paperwork, contract. So contracts will go in your favor also. Beautiful. What else do we have, please? This is also a card of good karma. So good karma coming your way. Show me clearly. Thank you. All right. We have here the Ten of Swords. I told you it was done and over. It's done and over. Whatever this is. No more. You don't have to worry about it. It's done. The good news is coming in. Um, again, some of you are taking control and ending that habit or ending that relationship. Some of you, it's the lawsuits I was talking about. But whatever. Ten of Swords is like, I am completely done dead done and over death card and that's needed right now right it's clearing out energy or bringing in new energy which is lovely with the justice card show me clearly for taurus please 
up. Show me clearly for Taurus. And there's something about this mermaid, too. It's like setting you free. If you think about that, you know, a mermaid in the water being able to navigate those waters so beautifully, but the freedom of doing that, like this does bring in some sort of freedom. Show me clearly for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, please. Show us clearly what is the message. What is the message? Thank you. So you have here Welsh wildflowers, and this says a blade of grass is as beautiful as a petal or leaf. A tender moment is a, is as sweet as it is brief. So I do feel like with this message, it is more saying here to me that you're going, to, well, it says it right here. Oh my gosh. It, it says it right here. Oh my gosh. It says growth and change on this card. Growth and change. You're willing to accept this ending for growth and change. And I think that that is beautiful to embrace that. I think it is beautiful. I mean, sometimes... Sometimes we let a uh, little fear get in the way, right? And that's why a Taurus would not want change because it's the fear of the unknown. But I think you're willing to embrace it now. You're willing to take these risks and be excited for the future. So I love this. Don't forget to like, share, comment. I read each and every one. And all of my love, light, and blessings to you, Taurus. Until next time.